How's it going everybody? Welcome to Mike Zuniga Films. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to balance your Zion Crane 2 gimbal quick and easy. Let's get right into it. All right, so first thing you want to do is get your base plate. Now, how do you know where to line up the base plate? Usually I like to start around the middle um, depending on what lens you have. This is a 50 millimeter lens. It's lightweight. Um, most of the time, you know, if you're shooting with a lens that is like a zoom lens, it's probably going to weigh a little bit more. But for this example, I'm going to be placing it right here. Now that we have this, all right, I'm going to get my crane two here and I already tightened up the base plate. First thing you want to do is, so now this, before I set it up here, I'm just going to make sure all of this is not balanced. As you can see, nothing is balanced yet. So I'm just going to tighten up some of this for now. First thing you want to do is place it in here. And you want to make sure that it's level. All right. Now, if you push it too, too far forward, you can see that it's falling forward too far back. As you can see, that's too much, all right? So you want to find it, find a place on it, kind of I'm pushing back or pushing forward this right here. And that looks pretty level, all right? So let's tighten that down right here, the screw. All right, so next thing you want to do is, once you have that set, now let's go ahead and fix this right here because as you can see this is leaning towards the left or my left so what I'm going to do is I'm going to release this as you can see here and then I'm going to move this over to my right a little bit more just so I can find some balance here all right there we go I'm going to lock that in now, next thing you want to do, all right, is look at this here. So right now it's swinging a little bit too much. You, you, you don't want that, all right? You want to have more balance on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release this. And what you actually want to do to test this out is you want to make sure that the camera is, gets to this position right here, all right? So you don't, want it to be falling back too much or falling forward. You want it to be in this position, as you can see, all right? So now I'm going to tighten that up. And as you can see, you're going to have to probably readjust um, this right here because of this readjustment here, and that's totally fine. Um, so now it's leaning to my right a little bit more. So I'm going to release this you just want to make sure it moves smoothly. So I just kind of lift this up right here just a little bit more, just so I'm able to push it. Now it's a little bit to the left. All right. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now that we have this balanced, the last thing you want to balance is this right here in the bottom. This is probably the most difficult part in terms of balancing your Zion Crane 2. So the whole point of this balance and where you want to get it is you want it to look like this, as you can see right here, all right? Obviously it's not balanced yet. So most likely what you are going to want to do is okay now as you can see here we're doing this all on the go you can see that this just went back a little bit all right this is what's going to happen right so before i even get to this now as you can see this is what happened so what you want to do is let's readjust this base plate here So it's level.
and as you can see there you go that's what you want it to look like all right okay so now let's get back to this most of the time what you're going to want to do is bring this section back a little bit all right now let's see what it looks like all right not yet let's bring it back and as you can see here there's there's um little tick marks with numbers so that way if you're using the same camera um you know the points that you need to get to to balance it all right not yet Oop, maybe now with your zion this is with my zion i have these two um handles right here i'm just going to take this off i know most of you may not have these handles but in another video I'll, I'll show you how i use them but for right now you can see this is how it's going to look like all right Okay, that looks a little bit better. Let's see if we can just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So now it's balanced, as you can see. So let's lock that in. Now any way you turn it, all right? So now that, we, now that it's balanced, let's turn it on. There you go. Okay, so here's a bonus tip. So if you are using a zoom lens with your camera for your Zion Crane 2 gimbal or any other gimbal for that matter, how do you balance your camera? If you're going to be switching between different focal lengths throughout your shoot. So what I usually do is I usually find the general midpoint for the zoom lens and for this one, this is a 24 to 105 millimeter and I have it set to just about 50 millimeter. And once you do that, then you can just go through the same exact process that you would for let's say a prime lens. So obviously the first step is just to make sure this is balanced and there you go, it's balanced right there. So once you have that set, then you can start going through the same exact process that you would for balancing your camera on the gimbal. Now, once the balance is set, then you can start switching throughout the different uh, focal lengths without affecting the original balance of the camera on the gimbal itself. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you wanna learn how to create awesome video content for yourself, I highly recommend checking out the course that I created down below in the link in the description that you can get for free. In the course, I show you how to create awesome video content with just your smartphone, how to edit the videos, how to speak like a pro on camera, and so much more. So, if you wanna stop procrastinating and start creating that awesome video content that you always wanted, click the link down below in the description and check it out for yourself. I look forward to seeing you inside. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.